today I'm going to be showing you six different ways that I apply eyeliner on myself and on photo shoes. The first look is the most common and it's a line going from the inner corner of the top lid, staying close to the lash line, all the way to the outer corner. Look directly into a mirror and keep your eyes open while you apply the eyeliner. This way the skin is going to be nice and tall and it will go on a lot smoother. Get the bases of the line done first and then go over the top of it again and just get a nice smooth even finish all the way along. I'm using a cream gel liner by Cryolan and this is in the shade Ebony. And the brush I'm using is actually a really fine paint brush. The second eyeliner look is another classic and this is the flick. At the end of the eyeliner I'm dragging the colour upwards as if there was an invisible line meeting the end of my eyebrow but I'm stopping about half a centimetre long. And we can turn that flick into a winged eyeliner by making it ever so slightly fuller. After pulling the brush up and outwards to create the flick, I'm then dragging the colour from the end of the flick back on myself and pulling the colour up towards the middle of the eyelid. And that's how you create a small winged eyeliner. And then you just go in and neaten it. Don't worry about getting it perfect in one swoop, do small little strokes and you'll get the perfect line. The third eyeliner look is one I use a lot on shoots and this is a great way of making the eye look a lot bigger. I'm slipping my brush underneath my lower lashes and I'm drawing a line from the outer corner and dragging the product outwards to meet that wing. This is going to frame the eye but also elongate it. And then I'm going to carry on applying that colour underneath my lower lashes as close as you can to the root. The best way to do this is to wiggle your brush once it's in place on the skin and this is going to apply the colour in a nice line. And then the key part for making the eye look larger is to drop the eyeliner by about 2mm lower than the tear duct area of your eye. Then you want to extend the liner on the inner corner from the top lid. So there should be a small gap between the top liner and the bottom one. And this will make your eye look a lot bigger. The fourth look is a subtle version of a cat eye. We're going to use that cream liner across our waterline and this is going to give us a nice inky black appearance. Then using the tip of our brush we're going to create a nice point at the beginning of the inner corner of the eye. Off camera I've just removed a little bit of the line that was underneath the tear duct area from the previous liner. And now using the brush we're going to colour in between the lower lashes. As you can see we've got a little bit of a fleshy colour going on between the water line and the line we've created underneath the lower lashes. So we're just going to work our brush backwards and forwards filling that area in with the black eyeliner. And that's my version of a subtle cat eye. The next one's a simple one, it's called the double wing, I've used this in other tutorials before. We're extending from the lower lash line straight out underneath the wing we've already got and this is creating a double wing. The last look I've got for you is a full on cat eye. We've already got the shape for it, it's a case of extending certain areas and thickening the lines we've already got. So as you can see I have just extended a point on the inner corner and made it more cat like. And then I'm extending all the way up over the line I've already done but thickening it ever so slightly and working my way in small strokes across the entire top lid. As I get to the outer corner I'm changing the angle of my brush and again coming back on myself thickening that line. This then means I need to reline the wing and extend it ever so slightly and I'm also relining and extending my double wing. To keep everything in proportion we're also going to line underneath the lower lashes and make that a little bit more fuller and defined. And as I said before work in small strokes to create the perfect line. To complete the eye look I placed on a set of Eldora false eyelashes in M102. I know many of you have requested this so I hope that's been helpful. Thank you for watching. If you've missed any of my previous tutorials you can check out any of these now. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter.